Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Teresa Perrin, and today is Monday, September 26, 2022, and this is my stock market watch list. Please remember, nothing I say is financial advice. Always do your own DD. And guys, this is a watch list. It doesn't mean go run and buy these stocks. It means keep them on your radar, do a little DD on them, and see if any of them pop today. All right, let's get started. Oh, and please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already so you do get my morning watch list that I try to do pretty consistently most mornings. Again, some mornings I unfortunately cannot do to doctor's appointments and other things going on, but I do do my best to get this out to you daily. All right, guys, number one on my list, again, is Cassava Science. This is also my play of the week this week because I think it's going to come up and fill this gap and have a continuation to the upside. Um, I've done tons of videos on them, so check it out if that play is new to you. Next is Chicken Soup for the Soul, CSSE. Um, guys, this play used to be, well, I mean, it's always been CSSE, but Redbox was actually bought out by CSSE. So a lot of Redbox holders that did not sell prior to it had their shares converted over to CSSE shares at a huge fraction of a discount. It was quite awful. Um, but CSSE came out with a very, well, somebody came out with a very bullish article on CSSE today discussing how undervalued the play is. And guys, I think we're going to see a move to the upside, a significant move to the upside um, over the next couple months, especially if their projections for revenue come true. I definitely suggest you check out that article and keep this on your radar today. Revlon. Revlon is having very, very strange moves in pre-market up, then down, and now kind of flat. But I also noticed that there are people buying far out of the money calls going into January. So I have a feeling something's going on and this is definitely worth your watch. ISPC, this is up 24.76% in the pre-market on no news. The last news came out that wasn't very bullish. Um, it was it maintained a buy rating by EV um, Hutton on Friday, but they decreased the price target to 425 from 550. I mean, it's still a pretty significant move up compared to where it's at right now. Um, so definitely keep this on your watch list. It does have a tendency to go on wild runs. Fubo. Fubo has been a powerhouse the last couple of months. While everything has been bearish, this has been one of the stocks that have actually been moving. And it's pretty beat down again, but I mean, it's still up relatively significantly for, you know, over the past couple of months when everything else has been beaten down hard. So it definitely bears watching because um, again, with this whole video on demand and ad streaming that they discuss in the article with CSSE, I believe that um, Fubo is going to continue its trend to the upside, guys. BBIG. Um, interestingly enough, um, this is on my list today because they had a significant move to the upside on Friday after hours. They went above $1 again. They are being brought back down, but guys, you want them to come down and fill that gap before it really makes a move up, if it can make a move back up. Um, now that the court case is over and there's a new CEO in the in the house, perhaps things can get a little bit better. Again, I think it's going to be a while before big money comes into this just because of all the craziness that has happened in this stock. But it's definitely worth keeping on your radar because those of you familiar with this stock know that it does have a tendency to go on runs. So could this be time for it to go on another one? It's possible. So definitely keep your eye on Vinco BBIG today. Ape. Guys, check out my video if you haven't already that I did on the <laughs> crazy amount of failure to deliver is due on Thursday. Pre-market has been very strange. It was moving up and they pulled it down like a stop loss hunt perhaps because it started coming right back up. Um, again, I go back and forth with this because I think they may try to take it as low as possible prior to Thursday. Um, but depending on how many of those FTDs they have found shares for, I mean, they have like 44 million failure to delivers that are due. Guys, that's insane. I have never seen such a high number. If they haven't come up with those shares yet, then they're under a lot of pressure this week. So whether they try to tank it a little bit earlier in the week and see if they can get people to, you know, sell out of their position, get frustrated, it's definitely possible. However, um, they're 
God, they may have to run it. They're definitely, in my opinion, they're going to have to run it prior to Thursday if they still haven't come up with those shares. So, um, definitely, definitely, this is on my radar. AMC, AMC, please watch my video that I did on that as well, because it's giving us bearish and bullish technical patterns here. As you can see in the past week, the pattern is curling up and it appears to be bullish, but it also made um, an inverse head and shoulder pattern. I'm sorry, a head and shoulders pattern. I keep saying that. It made a head and shoulders pattern, which is bearish. And guys, um, that is something that needs to be on your watch because if it breaks below that $6.99 level, I think it could go back down to that $3, $4 range. So definitely be worried, not worrisome, but definitely be cautious of that, let me say. And if you haven't seen my video on it, I suggest you watch it because it goes into detail. All right, AVCT. Guys, this stock has been a powerhouse. It's up 107.34% in the past week, and I think it's going to continue to have a massive, massive move. I did a bunch of videos on it this weekend. I highly suggest you check them out, and I'm going to be doing another one today to let you know more stuff that I found out. So guys, I'm very, very bullish on AVCT, and I think that it's going to have a great week. Sends. Sends, I noticed making some moves in the after hours on Friday. Um, and it appears that it's going to reverse here. It's made a double bottom and I believe we're going to see it go back to the upside. So I am keeping that on my radar as well. PPSI. Guys, this is a great play, Pioneer Power Solutions, for hurricanes. And with the hurricane due to touch land um, in the U.S. this week, I think that you could see this make a massive move to the upside. Again, it's doing great in pre-market. It's up 7.12%. Um, I want to see if I can pull back a little bit and try to um, not have a gap. That would be very important because then, then you know that it's a quick in and out type play because if it makes that gap, it's more than likely going to come back down for it. And guys, PPSI is not one that you hold forever. Yeah, maybe during hurricane season, you can swing it, but be careful because it has wild runs in both directions. Um, Home Depot. Home Depot is making a very bullish pattern, and this would be your blue chip for hurricanes because obviously if there's a lot of destruction, then they're going to need building supplies, right? Um, I do like the way the chart looks. This stock has been beat down this year, and I think there's an opportunity to the upside with Home Depot. Mullen. Mullen finally broke out of that horrible pattern it was in on Friday. And I'm looking to see if it continue making moves to the upside. Um, they've had a lot of bullish news come out lately that hasn't gotten positive reactions. And I think it's only a matter of time with Mullen. Tough built. TBLT. Guys, I'm wondering if $2 is triple bottom is the um, final push to the upside that we need. There is a gap fill that I'm watching for to the upside on this. And this is heavily shorted. It's been beat down very, very badly. And I think it's due for a nice move to the upside. So it's on my radar. Uh, ATXI, Avenue Therapeutics. Guys, this had a reverse split on Friday. I made a video on it telling everyone to keep it on their watch list the night before because I saw this huge movement, this big green candle here. They did what they normally do with reverse splits and pulled it right back down after it went to like $10 in the pre-market, yanked it down. Guys, the free float is under 1 million. So this thing can move in either direction very quickly. So I would definitely keep this on your watch list because now that they brought this down to ridiculous lows, um, I think that you're going to start to see shorts begin to cover on this. So that's what I'm watching for. Just, you know, watch it and to see when it's starting to make its moves. If it makes a move to the upside, you know that you have an opportunity to enter in this play. Figs. Guys, this company is like, oh God, it's like the Amazon for healthcare. Honestly, the scrubs and everything for healthcare workers are fabulous. The shoes are amazing. I just bought my daughter, who's a nursing student, a pair of um, their nursing shoes. And let me tell you, she said, Ma, it was pouring rain and I wore those things and nothing got wet. Like no liquid could get in them. It was just amazing. So they are a little bit pricey. Um, but guys, that's good because that means that they're pulling in revenue. So this is a good stock to own. Now I'm just looking to find where it hits its bottom. I thought it had made it a few 
few weeks ago and it started moving to the upside, but then got pulled back down. It's up in pre-market today and I it's up 1% in pre-market, but it's down 76% in the past year. This is one of those stocks that is great for a long-term portfolio to start dollar cost averaging into. Adder. Adder, Adder, Adder has been beaten up very, very badly proven naked shorts in this stock and they have been relentless ever since they found this out. Guys, I'm shocked that it went below $2, quite honestly. I want to see, it looks like, I, I pulled up the yearly on this because I want to show you, it looks like it's making a W and I think we're going to see that move to the upside very soon. Is today the day? I'm not sure, but that's why it's on my watch list. Uh, when it does move, I think that we're finally going to get a, a nice, decent size move um, in, in a very potential for a short squeeze to come in on this play, uh, as well as probably a gamma squeeze. We'll have to see what the options look like as that starts to happen. But this should be on everyone's radar for um, a nice move to the upside when it finally does break out of this downtrend, which it appears that it's getting close. So definitely keep that on your list this week as well. Today's list was a little bit longer than I like to keep them to. I'm going to try to keep them to around, you know, 10 to 12 stocks. Today we have 15, but it's Monday and I saw a few things I wanted to tell you about. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day.